Hello, this is Antonio Valderas and I am presenting our contribution chatbot to provide initial assistance to Erasmus students in case of emergency. Erasmus students spend part of their academic life in a foreign country and this is usually a great experience for them. But in 2020, these students faced a pandemic. While we were in confinement in our houses, they were in a strange country without knowing if they could come back home, go to the doctor or simply go shopping. This problem affected Erasmus students from all countries. International offices couldn't manage all the communication from these students facing many situations that in some cases were particular, but in others were very similar. This paper proposes a chatbot to provide initial assistance to these students. The chatbot will provide an emergency response information that can be updated if the rules change. The chatbot is available on the project's website and on the Telegram mobile application. Here is a short demo of the chatbot. Guess I want to travel and I don't know the travel rules. Can you tell me the travel rules? And the chatbot responses that if your house country is not in a total lockdown, basically movements are always allowed within territory. In any case, consult your Ministry of the Interior's website. That is the embassy. So can you tell me the embassy information? So the chatbot uh, asks me from my country, what country are you from? I'm from Spain. And now it asks, what country are you currently living in? I'm living in Italy. Now I receive the information of the consulate of Spain in Milan and also the embassy of Spain in Rome. Okay, that's all. But now for another example, guess I'm feeling depressed. So I am feeling depressed because of the situation. What should I do? And it says contact the nearest health service, local social services, or the psychological care office of your university. Don't wait to ask for help. Okay, uh, can you tell me the psychological care information of my university. Uh, well, now tell me the full name of your university. So I'm from the University of Cadiz, but it also understand the acronym, UCA. And now I receive the information of the psychological care service, the phone, the hours, and here is the service web, just in case I want to enter the website. And now guess that I call my phone and I receive a recommendation of um, uh, medicine. So can you, uh, or maybe where is the nearest pharmacy to buy the, the medicines? And I receive a map of Google Maps with the information of the nearest pharmacy. Okay, so that's all for now, thanks. And uh, this work is part of an Erasmus project to develop practice to help these students in emergency situation. And the chatbot has been tested by staff from the six institutions participating in the project. And the results are promising. They answered a TAM-based survey scoring more than 73% on all items, including items such as this. Communicating with the chatbot was clear. The interaction with the chatbot felt like an ongoing conversation. The chatbot responses were easy to understand. I feel like the chatbot responses were accurate or my waiting time for a response from the chatbot was short. So, we think that the results are positive. The chatbot works at these universities and is available in case a new emergency situation requires it. So thanks for your attention and see you in Salamanca.